This is a BioLite camp stove and kettle pot. As you can see, this unit is used. I've had this for about five years. Plastic lid just pops off. The stove fits inside of the pot, which is awesome. There's a silicone lining, which creates a great seal on the pot. The stove has got a honeycomb outside. It also comes with a plastic cup. The size of it is decent enough for about two to four people and it's stainless steel. Handles fold out, they've also got a silicone lining so you will not get burned from the heat. This is the battery in the fan. It is rechargeable, it does create a turbine on the inside of the stove to keep the fire going. To secure it, you fold out the aluminum legs. The pot fits exactly on top of the stove. This little window here is where the air comes through the fan and into the stove itself. You just put it in place, fold that leg out and that will hug the bottom of the fan and hold it in place. There's also a rechargeable unit. Push the power button once, you'll see one, two, three, four lights light up for how much charge you have. You push it again and you'll get the fan for the same thing. The bottom light for the fan is for a lower setting. Push it again, it'll go up, up, and up, and up. Obviously all the way to the top is the strongest fan setting. I usually keep it there. It'll help you get through your burn faster but there are different levels should you choose not to go on full blast. And again, it creates a turbine on the inside, which helps the fire start and helps it continue burning. There's also these ports on the side of the pot, which are awesome because it gives air to the fire to keep burning, but it's also a great way to keep it going. Instead of taking the pot off and having to feed the fire, I just get sticks and wood that's small enough to fit in those little ports and I shove it in the side there to keep them going. All you gotta do is get pieces small enough, they just go right in there and you can just feed it all day long. They also come with these wood burning pellets, which are also helpful, uh, especially for starting. You can also get other fire starters. Close up the unit, it's the same thing, take the lid off. Once it's all cooled down, you've got the ash out of there. You just fold the legs back in. The battery pack will come right off. The battery pack will fit inside of the stove itself. And then the stove fits inside the pot and then the lid goes back on, you get it. Fold those arms back in and it goes right back in. It's a dry sack. So again, you push the button to get it on, it'll show you the power, you push it to hold it again and that'll start the fan and then you push it to your desired level of fan speed. The pellets also come with these wood chips. It's up to you what you want to use. You don't have to use these, but they're a great way to start it off. Just throw some pellets in the bottom. I usually use dryer lint, it's a great fire starter. lights fast, burns quick. You can also throw a couple fire starter bricks in there to keep it going. So the, the biggest part challenge with this is going to be getting your fire going. Uh, once it's going, the fan really helps with that turbine to keep it going. You don't really have to do very much. You feed it every now and again to keep it going. But it basically, between this and the white gas stoves or the other um, gas stoves that you can get, the jet boils and the MSRs and things like that, uh, yes, they'll burn things faster, but then you're at the mercy of the gas. Whereas as long as you have sticks and wood and things to burn, you'll never run out of the opportunity to 
boil water. So let's see how we do here. The website says it'll boil water in four and a half minutes. It packs down to the size of a 32 ounce wide mouth water bottle and it weighs approximately 2.06 pounds. It's got a 3200 milliamp battery. Dimensions are five inches by 7.9 inches. BioLite has a number of other products uh, on their website you should check out. One of them for the kettle pot is the coffee press for all you coffee lovers out there. Okay, we're at four and a half minutes now and it's going pretty good. That's boiling water. And again, you can do this in less time with those other stoves that are gas powered. At least with this, you will always be able to boil water. Even if that fan runs out of battery, you'll still have the ability to burn uh, wood in there and keep it burning and always be able to boil water and use it for your dehydrated meals, for your backpacking meals. This honeycomb outside does not get hot. You can pick it up, as you can see, I pick it up here with my bare hands. Don't squeeze it too hard because you will touch the inside piece and you will burn yourself. They also have other attachments like a camp stove portable grill that'll turn this camp stove into a, basically a barbecue. As I said, this is the first version of the camp stove. They have a camp stove two, which gives you the ability to charge electronics through USB through the front of the battery and fan. This is a great product. I'm really looking forward to taking this on my backcountry bow hunt uh, adventure for elk in BC this September. For more BioLite products, check them out on their website, biolightenergy.com.